Hello friends, welcome to the 15th part of the topic connections in a steel structure where we wanted to find number of bolts required uh, for any joint and for that we are having the formula load on any member divided by bolt value and in order to find the bolt value we have to find three different things where first is shear capacity of the bolt second is uh, bearing capacity of the bolt and the third is tension capacity of the bolt where for the first two we already have discussed everything and in this lecture we'll uh, understand how can we calculate the tension capacity of this bolt in order to find the tension capacity of the bolt we know this condition tb should be less than tdb where tb is the factor tensile force and tdb is design capacity of the bolt so this is but obvious that the design capacity of the bolt should be greater than this factor tensile force anything that is factored is having the factor of safety so it should be kept less than that of the design capacity and in order to find this design capacity this is our task this is the tension capacity of the bolt so design tension capacity of the bolt is tdb will be equal to tnb upon gamma mb tnb is nominal tensile capacity of the bolt and gamma mb is as usual it is factor of safety taken as 1.25 this value is taken as 1.25 this is given on table number 9 is 800 2007 and regarding the calculation of this t and b for calculating the nominal tensile capacity of the bolt we have formula 0 0.9 into fu into an into here it is into fy into b into asb into the ratio of gamma mb upon gamma m0 so by using this formula of T and B, that is nominal tensile capacity of the bolt uh, and dividing it by gamma MB, that is 1.25, we can have the design uh, capacity of the design tension capacity of the bolt and it should be less than this factor tensile force. So friends, this is all for today and wait for the 16th part of the topic connections and thank you for watching.